In this tutorial, we will show you how to manage design intent and how to apply face relate commands in SolidEdge. In synchronous modeling in SolidEdge, you have so much control over the 3D model itself that there is no need to go back to the sketch. In SolidEdge, you can make changes to a 3D model face rather than a sketch. Let's just start by opening a new isometric part. Draw an 80 by 40 millimeter rectangle on the XY plane. and use the steering wheel to extrude the sketch 20 millimeters. Let's add four six millimeters rounds to the four corners of the rectangle. Finally, let's draw two seven millimeter circles somewhere on the top face of the model and make two holes using the extruded cut command. The placements of the holes do not matter at this time as we will use the face relay commands to move them to the right position later on. Now let's see the design intent relationships in action. If you select the right side of the model, we can extend it using the steering wheel. SolidEdge recognized that we made the original rectangle symmetric with respect to the origin, therefore is keeping the symmetric design intent for us. You can decide if you want to modify the model this way or turn off the symmetric design intent from the design intent panel. There are many other design intents that SolidEdge can recognize including coplanar, concentric, or even tangent. You can learn more about the design intent panel panel by pressing the question mark. We did not align the holes to the right place when we placed them. From a history based modeling perspective we need to go back to the sketch and modify the original sketch we used to make the holes to put them in the right place. However, what if I delete the original sketch? In history based modeling that would be a big no no. In solid edge using synchronous technology you can use the face relay commands to position the holes concentric to the center of the rounded edge. From the face relay section choose concentric then simply click on the hole right click to accept and then select the round. We can repeat the same process for the second hole. These relationships can easily be deleted from the pathfinder. Finally, let's make two rectangles on the top face of the part. Use the rectangle by two points command and hold left click and drag to make these two rectangles. You can select the regions and press down on the arrow to make a cut, but we need the cuts to be coplanar. Using the coplanar face relate relationship, the faces can be made coplanar. Just select coplanar relationship, click on one face, right click, or press enter, then click on the other face. Now the faces are coplanar. Now if you click on a face to extend, not only solid edge recognizes symmetry, it also keeps the rounds intact and recognizes the newly added concentric relationship. In this video, you'll learn about design intent in solid edge and face relay commands.